Some 30 years ago, I developed a specialism in information technology in archaeology, and we set up something called the Archaeology Data Service, then with two members of staff, now with 35. And what we do is make data available, open access, for everyone to use, and we preserve it into the long term. So we are a trusted digital repository, to use the, the jargon term. Archaeological interventions in the most traditional sense, which is excavation, that's non-repeatable. When you dig an archaeological site, you destroy that site. And all of that careful documentation that you see archaeologists doing in the trench, all of the drawing and the writing, that becomes primary data. And because that data is increasingly now digital and therefore fragile, <laughs> we really are looking at potentially losing an entire generation of archaeological knowledge to the digital dark age. So the purpose was to work with as many countries as wanted to participate and in the end progress at least the conversation about how they can find a safe place for their archaeological data. I think one of the major impacts of international collaboration in the research projects I've worked in so far is a much wider adoption of the research products or methods. First, because they're better products, because of the synergy of the research done by the different collaborators in the project, but also because of the network and the reach of all these peoples put together. And then these products are more easily discoverable and accessible to a wider range of scholars and even to a wider public. え、European funding has really been essential to our collaboration. Each project also brings in new partners. It's brilliant in that we end up meeting and working with new collaborators each time. I don't think we could have done that without the funding that now particularly Horizon Europe has provided. Our ability to collaborate internationally would not be possible without European funding. It's absolutely integral to everything that we do, everything that we've built. If it's something that you've not engaged with before, but you'd like to, one way that you can do it is by joining a cost action. You can join cost actions at any time. Talk to your research office in your university because there's generally a lot of expertise there. It's very hard to get a foot in the door if you've never had a project before. So don't start out with the aim of coordinating a big project, but through networks, which you might establish through academic contacts and, and conferences, uh, build up those collaborations, express your interest in participating in funded research. Uh, but for the first one, let someone else take the lead and then learn from that experience. It's changed everything for us. I don't know what we would do without it. Thank you.